This is called the Forever Pen. It's an inkless pen that writes on almost anything a pen could write on. But it's not a pencil. The lines that it makes can't be erased. So it's a little bit lighter. It looks like pencil, but it doesn't erase. And because it uses no ink, it can actually write underwater even. Watch this, put the paper under the water. Can still write on it just fine. Look how cool this is. It writes on pretty much anything. Try even a paper towel, not sure. Wow, it actually works on that even. So if this uses no ink, then what's actually happening here? The Forever Pen is actually made from a special metal alloy. They don't say exactly what it is. But there's actually nothing special about this metal. You can use almost any metal. For example, this pen just uses plain silver. So when I write on the paper, the metal is actually rubbing off a little bit onto the paper. And once it's deposited on the paper, it can oxidize with the air over time, and it'll change color slightly. In fact, this has been known for centuries, and it's called metal point, or silver point writing. You can use silver, gold, lead, tin, bismuth, copper, brass, bronze, and much more. It's a particularly difficult method to draw with because you can't erase any marks that it makes. Usually in art, you don't just use the metals to write on regular paper, but you use a paper that's slightly abrasive, like this one, called ground. The ground will typically have some calcium carbonate in it as well. Depending on the metal you write with, the color changes slightly different over time because of the products that form when you write with it. Silver makes silver sulfide, lead makes lead carbonate, tin forms tin salts, and copper makes copper carbonates. But no matter what metal you use, it's actually pretty difficult to tell the difference even after the oxidation takes place. They all turn a slightly yellow, brown, gray color over time. So we understand that the Forever Pen is not any new technology. Well, we know that some amount of metal is scraped off on the paper with each use, but how much? I couldn't find any good information about how much is used and how fast. So let's try to figure out about how much a Forever Pen could last for. I'm going to color a whole page with the pen and then see if we can even tell if there's a weight change on the scale here. Then we'll compare to a regular pen. And before we continue, I'd like to thank Foreo for partnering with me for this video. I've experienced the pain of electricity, but did you know that you can actually use low-level pulses of electricity to stimulate facial muscles to contour your face to give a more chiseled look? You can achieve the mini facelift with the Foreo Bear device. The Foreo Bear is made by Foreo Sweden, which is a company that's shaken up the wellness world. It's a visionary brand in the space where the beauty and tech worlds meet. Bear is the world's first FDA cleared medical microcurrent device with an anti-shock system that visibly improves signs of aging by gently energizing and firming the 69 muscles in your face and neck. When using microcurrent, skin cells break down and then grow back stronger, the same way your muscles do after lifting weights. Even though they have dozens of facial silicone devices, the Bear by Foreo microcurrent device is one of the most groundbreaking gadgets that you can offer to somebody you love. So if you're always worried about finding a present for an anniversary, a birthday, or any special occasion, this is the perfect gift for your significant other. So if you're interested, click the link in my description and you can use the discount codes found here. Now let's get back to our experiment. Okay, first let's get an initial measurement of the Forever Pen. So I have 3.932 grams. Now I'm gonna cover this whole piece of paper, 190 millimeters by 260 millimeters. So I can definitely feel it getting duller on one end when I write with it. You can see how the tip changes here. See how it's worn on one side but not the other? Okay, I filled up one complete paper here. Now this got a little warm while I was using it because of all the friction, so I'm gonna let it cool to room temperature again and then measure the weight. The nice thing is if you've ever used a pencil and colored like this on a paper, you know what happens to the edge of your hand. But with doing this, it looks like it's pencil marks on here. You can see there's no smearing of it whatsoever. It doesn't get on you. Okay, and after coloring the full page now, I get 3.904 grams. 
So we lost 0 0.028 grams by coloring this full page of paper here. Oh, that actually broke off really easy. So that's a pretty soft metal. So you can see there's actually a screw that goes up into it. So once you get to that point, you definitely can't write anymore. So I'm going to say this is the maximum amount that you could use to write with. So this tip weighs 0.501 grams. So that means you could only color about 17 pages like this before you've used your forever pen all the way till it can't be used anymore. So there's definitely nothing forever about the forever pen. If you're making a mark on paper, it's leaving material behind no matter what it's made of. So that's pretty surprising. It's almost like it's not that much better than a regular pen. Okay, let's try just a regular pen. So to start, we get 4.517 grams. Now I'm going to color this full page. So there we go. Definitely not quite as good a coverage because the forever pen is a little duller, so it spreads out easier. So each mark is a little thicker, but pretty good comparison here. Now let's see how much the pen weighs. 4.482 grams. So the real pen used only 0 0.035 grams. So only 0 0.0007 grams difference between these two. So you're gonna run out of your forever pen just as fast as you run out of a regular pen. Let's see how much just the ink weighs. Okay, so just the ink weighs 0.145 grams. So you can cover about four pages with a regular cheap pen or about 17 pages with a forever pen, but the cheap pen costs 10 cents and the forever pen costs $30. <laughs> so that's actually pretty disappointing. I thought it would be even more than this, but because the forever pen can write so well, which means it's a pretty soft metal, which means it rubs off a lot on the paper. So you don't get a lot of use out of it. It hardly lasts even more than a regular old pen. If you think about it, it's no surprise that metal can write on paper. In fact, that's where the term lead from a pencil came from. You can actually use lead to write on things really easily. So I'm guessing the Forever Pen probably has even small amounts of lead in it because it writes pretty easily on stuff compared to this other pen that uses like copper. And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you learned something today. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing and we'll see you next time.